it's your boy King Burn. On today, I'm coming at you with another review of Grownish. This time it is to episode nine. Who gonna stop me? Um, and yeah, this episode was great. It was filled with lots of laughter, lots of everything. I loved every bit of it. Uh, the twins, you are crowned queens of the of the episode. You were the highlights of the episode. That and Zoe's friendship. It was so amazing, so good. I loved the episode so much, and. We got everybody back. We got the cast back all in one episode. We didn't get the, you know, the conflict of Luca and Aaron. But, you know, we got a good episode today. We got a great episode today, actually. And y'all live tweeted with me. I didn't even remind y'all, but y'all was lit. We was lit. The Brando fam was lit. Y'all showed up, showed out. Y'all are like the couple of my, well, she liked one of my tweets. I was going to say a couple. I was going to be a lie. She liked one of my tweets. You know, you see? Hold on. You see me though, you see me, but let's get into this review of Grownish episode now. Nah, let's get it. Yeah. Take me to the truth. So the episode started off with a drug dealer getting shot, and everybody thinking Vivek was dead. Hold on, pause. That's the thumbnail. Did Vivek die? I'm sorry. I I I really just clickbaited y'all. Really sorry about that, but um, yeah, uh, it started off with a drug dealer getting shot. He got shot by his girlfriend for cheating on her, and she just, you know, she popped him. She pop, 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 boom. You know, moral of the story, don't cheat or you might get shot by your girlfriend, okay? Yeah, uh, so everybody thought that Vivek got shot, but it wasn't. It was the other drug dealer. He was a major drug dealer on campus, and when he went down, everybody, I mean everybody, all the other drug dealers went low, and Vivek, he shot up. But before that, we got to get to the protest, which was so funny. And Anna, you need help. You really need help. Like, I, you, like let me, let me. You need help. A lot of help. Like, I think she's just attracted to old men. Like, for real, she's attracted to old men. Um, they had a protest about, you know, drugs and, um, and stuff like that and other things. And then Aaron, you know, since he's a activist, a social activist, um, you know, he went in, he was on the, marching on the forefront, all that, leading to everything, and Dean Parker was trying to, he, he, Dean, it was funny, because Dean Parker gave him the, um, the, what, what, the, whatever thing it is, you, you talk on it, and it, put your voice louder, I know I'm gonna think of it later, and I'm gonna be like, dang, I feel stupid, but he thought he was gonna, like, tell everybody to calm down and stuff, but then he just get the, huh, and everybody was like, yeah, yeah. And then Anna told me, I'm here for Dean Parker. I'm like, you need to be saved. You need church, Jesus, and all his disciples. Anna, you're crazy, okay? You're crazy. You're trying to get him to catch a case, okay? Um, and that was funny. So Vivek shot up because all the other drug dealers started laying low. I mean, the dude was balling. The dude went from, I told you this, I was like, Vivek went from, can I get a hug uh, to, a, can I get a hug person to the man on campus? I'm like, Golly, dude shot up like it wasn't nothing. That's how the drug game go, man. It's how the drug game goes in college, I guess. That's what they trying to tell us. Um, and yeah, and then Zoe and uh, Nomi, they, they thought he died. But uh, they was like, I'm here for you if you need help. He was like, y'all just doing that because y'all in my phone asking for pills. And they like, you know, if you could just delete messages and stuff. And I'm like, y'all are crazy. Um, and then after that, uh, the twins got sick. Well, Aaron got sick and he got the twins sick. And it was funny, they roasted him so bad. Oh my God. Like they were really getting on him. They say he looked like a dehydrated Leslie Jones. A King of Bears, you are a genius. Who thinks of this stuff? And like really, Chloe and Holly, like y'all are just the freaking bomb diggity. Like y'all, y'all are slowly becoming my favorite characters on the show. Like y'all just, y'all comedic relief is just there all the time. Y'all never disappoint. Love y'all a lot for this. Y'all give me a bunch of laughs. Um, and Luca, you are heartless, bro. You are heartless. When everybody was grieving, talking about um, the big dad, he like, you know, eh, eh, eh. And then he, it was funny because he took one of his rings, <laughs> kissed it up to God, and then put it on the floor. And then <laughs> Vivek came next to him, <laughs> told him some, oh man, <laughs> that was funny. Um, and yeah, after he got the after Aaron got the girl sick, they was all sick all the time. And then it really that little part ended with him, you know, saying like last year he got sick and he was all alone. Now he has at least he has friends this time. And then the twins was like, you know, I'm sorry for calling you a dehydrated Leslie Jones. 
that was hilarious. Uh, but yeah, back to Vivek and his uh, story, him and Zoe, the the great friend interaction. Uh, so yeah, since Vivek shot up on campus as the number one drug dealer, you are number one. Uh, he got invited to all the cool parties and stuff. He got invited to the great, uh, the great grandson of the founder of. Cal U, whatever, whatever school they go to, I forget. Uh, <laughs> um, he got invited to his place or a place where he like hosts parties and stuff. And that, I ain't gonna lie, that was dope. Y'all budget for this TV show is dope. It's like there. Y'all just, y'all doing something. And then uh, Nomi, she just left Zoe. Vivek left Zoe to go hang out with the guys. Um, and Zoe was just feeling like, you know, this ain't my crowd and all that. I was like, oh, how the tables have turned. Because Zoe has been, like, the popular person, like, in grown, in, uh, I was going to say, in grown, uh, in blackish and all that stuff. And now the tables turned because Vivek was, like, the lame dude, the lame cab driver, son, as he called himself. Um, and, yeah, so after the party, Zoe finds out that Vivek's dealing coke. And she don't like that. She don't like that one bit. But... Vivek got it. He treated her too. He roasted her. He was like, you know, it's really no... Di well, I mean, it is a difference to me. Uh, but he like, it's no difference from me selling you Adderall and all that. And you taking that, it's still drugs. It's just that one is marketed as a worse drug. And, you know, if you take a lot of both, too much of both, you could die anyway. And he's like, you know, I'm just I'm just doing what I got to do so I don't be the broke dude on campus and the cab driver's son. And then Zoe like, you know... I understand that, but you know, you're probably the only person that has a problem with it. We don't care um, that you're the cab driver's son and that you like uh, broken and all that. You know, you are, you are our friend and all that. Um, and that was that, that was a little heartfelt moment, but Vivek got it again. He was like, you know, just 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 you do you and I'm going to do me. And that was how that situation ended until they got him. They caught my boy lacking. They caught Vivek lacking, beat him up. Uh, he was in the hospital. He almost got called by his parents if it weren't for Zoe being a good friend. She was a great friend this episode, for real. She took, she was like, her and Vivek got robbed. Even though it was just Vivek, they hit him. They they caught him lacking, took all the drugs, all that. Uh, I think they took his money, too. Uh, he ended up in a hospital with a broken arm and, like, just face all messed up. And she took the blame in front of his parents, talking about it was both of them. It wasn't no drugs. She lied for him. And that was, I was like, man, you know what? That's what friends are for. And I thought he was going to stop selling drugs completely, but... He just got another dude. The dude, Vivek is turning into a kingpin. He's turning into a kingpin, okay? He got another dude doing the drug deals for him, counting the money out, teaching him how to do it. And Zoe was like, you know what? I can't even do this no more. I can't enable you no more. So you going to have to figure this out on your own. And that's basically how they parted ways uh, with that. She stopped using Adderall, which I'm like, thank God. Just don't, don't do it. Don't do it. So the episode basically ended with Zoe getting off Adderall and getting off them drugs. Uh, but I missed the funny part. The funniest part of the episode was when Zoe tried to uh, get to everybody else when uh, Vivek got jumped in. They caught him lagging and wouldn't nobody come but her. She was the only person she got up, got the outfit ready, was running and all that, but the slow motion cam going slow and he was, she was the only person to show up. Nobody else showed up. Luca was like, you know what, I don't even care. You're ruthless, bro. You're ruthless. You and the twins are ruthless, bro. Y'all are like my favorite characters on the show. Uh, but yeah, that's been episode 9 of Grownish. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, the review was lit. The episode was lit. I love this episode. This episode was raw. It was great. Um, yeah. So if you return to the channel, like the video, comment other stuff you want me to react to, other TV shows I might get at, uh, something to, you know, get at a little look and see about doing other TV shows. And if you're new to the channel, gotta get up close and personal with you because it's this thing on this channel we like to call the three clicks. It's how you can support me. I know you probably already did two of them, but you're just gonna like this video and you're gonna hit that subscribe button for the second click. Then you're gonna hit them post notifications for the third click. And that, that way we can keep knowing every time I post and keep getting all of the reviews of Grownish every episode, man. We lit out here. I appreciate y'all live too with me. Tweeting with me, live tweeting with me. I cannot talk during outros. I don't know what's my problem, but I appreciate y'all doing that because I didn't even remind y'all, but we was lit, okay? Um, yeah, it's been your boy King Brando, and peace. See y'all on episode 10, which is next Wednesday. Live tweet with me, though. 7 p.m. Central Time, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Cali Time, sorry, West Coast Time, my bad. Sorry, you'll, you'll, you'll just have to see the review. Uh, but it's been your boy King Brando, and peace. Take me to the truth